Hi students, today we are discussing about the topic the SAID protocol. The SAID protocol means the secure electronic transactions. This abbreviation is the secure electronic transaction is a system that ensures the security and integrity. Integrity means what is the honesty uh, of electronic transaction done using credit cards in the scenario that means the set means the, the transaction is security and integrity that we can use the set protocol it uses different encryption and encryption techniques to secure payments over the internet through credit cards we can use the credit cards uh, we can do some transaction the transaction will be in using the different encryption and hashing techniques the payment will be a uh, secured the set protocols are supported in development of major organization who has uh, supported this protocol likes the visa mastercard is uh, supported our set protocol microsoft which provided its secure transaction technology and the netscape both the microsoft and the netscape we can supported the set protocol the set protocol restricts the revealing of credit card details to merchants that keeping hackers and thieves at bay why you can use the set protocols the protocol restricts some some revealing revealing means what uh, the secret to be known it's it it uh, uh, it's known to a uh, some secret uh, it restricts that can be not done in the set protocols while we can use the online transactions many of the hackers and thieves to get the data and the transaction will be spoiled but we can use the set protocols so we can restrict that type of uh, hackers and thieves the set protocols include certificating authorities for making use of standard digital likes the set protocols gives the certification authorities uh, to the transaction that means the standard digital certificates that like this name is x504 uh, why use the set protocols the set protocols is main technology it's developed for the e-commerce websites e-commerce websites implemented this yearly protocol to secure electronic payments made via debit card and credit cards we can uh, use the online transactions mostly in e-commerce to guy, buy or sell the some products the electronic transactions may be done in this way so we can develop the set protocols uh, to secure the data and then transactions uh, and set is not a payment system it's not a payment system or a gateway it's just for a security protocols it uses some aspects of a public key accepts means some situations we can use the public key infrastructure most of the situation we can use the set protocols in the public key infrastructure to address concerns around privacy authenticity and security in e-commerce applications why you can use this 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 is for use to security our transaction it may be a privacy and then authentication the primary which is the primary why you use the set protocol as we are already know the set protocol is used to product the credit and debit card transactions on through online it provides a secure and confidential transaction environment for everyone involved in the e-commerce transaction including the customer and the merchant well, in set protocols in e-commerce we are in the customers and our merchants all are in this transaction the transaction will be sent in the confidential and the secure transaction so it provide for the great um, uh, uses only e-commerce it also authenticates users with the help of digital certificates oh how you the users will be data will be secure we can use the digital certificates to authenticate users and the customers or users and the customers or the sellers anything you can use the the payment transactions between the customer and the seller in uh, we can verify that the digital certificates the development of set can be traced to the it can be developed in the early mid 1990s in early days we can support many organizations uh, in the set which are the organizations the technology firms like microsoft and ibm network infrastructure and internet services companies like versign and then web services company netscape etc 
you this is the set how is the set protocol uses uh, and then how it works in the cryptography we can see that how it works in the cryptography uh, check, to secure code transaction product purchasing information so we can secure the transaction or protect the information um, the set uses the two um, encryption types that means the symmetric and the another one is the asymmetric the symmetric means the encryption data uh, uses the only uses the only one key to um, encryption and the descriptions and the asymmetric means uh, the encryption takes the two keys one is for the encrypt and another one is for a decrypt that is the asymmetric data in set protocols uses the 56 bit session keys which is the 56 bit keys is used for the transmitted asymmetrically while the other bit is used for the symmetric des encryptions the set uses long keys for both kinds they use the long keys for both the encryptions and the decryption that means the uh, data transactions or cat code transactions anything the secure architecture we can see the security architecture of a secure electronic transactions what are the security architecture or in the uh, set first is the digital certificates digital certificate means the digital signature authenticate the merchants and customers to identify to medicate medicate means here uh, this is a medicate means what is a less serious okay serious to a serious to risk of a malignous third party malfitting transaction information so is a authenticated no one can uh, hide the data or stolen the data known third party is not involved this to use the digital certificates and the transaction will be in a very secure and this can be done is issuing the bank by using the certificate authority issues digital certificate to the issuing bank it's when it's must be done in the bank next is the dual signature in the set scheme the customer order information payment in order encrypted with the separate private keys the dual signature means uh, and the uh, encrypted encrypted with uh, you, you can store the code information in one and then payment information in one there are the two separate keys public keys once for the order information and one for the payment information the order information encrypted with the merchant public keys the order information is is in the merchants and then payments is in the bank the two you can use the two public keys one for order and another for inf payment or the order is, is in the merchant and then payment is based on the bank okay are you sure understand this this is the uh, digital signature process how it works the digital process first you can you know, sign document data we can enter the sign document data it will be works on the hash and then it again to the digital sign document using the private key encryptions next one is the digital wallet uh, it enforces customers uh, it, it means means the customer to entering a password to activate the uh, digital wallets once we can word, uh, activate the digital wallets the following um, authentication the customer device can be sent to their order or payment information through phone or pc etc for example we can um, purchase anything in your uh, amazon or flipkart uh, we can entering the order information so some times ago and the order information is comes from your phone and then it's a um, uh, confirm your order it's all this done in the digital wallet uh, the digital wallet events in the, in the customers the sorry the merchant can enter the passwords or anything it will be sent to a directly sent to the customers okay uh, what is the set participants who are the set participants there are number of set participants uh, first you can use the first is the card holder or customer who is the card holder you are the card holder once uh, a, a person can a person can uh, pay the transaction online through visa or master card is the customer the authorized cust holder who is the authorized cold holder only for the um, and customers that only the, the transaction will be the done next one is the e-commerce merchant who is the e-commerce merchant the seller uh, you are a buyer and then and the e-commerce merchant is the seller 
next one is the card issuer who is the card issuer the payment the pay for example the financial organization who is financial organization to the transaction example bank any type of bank the card will be a uh, issued this is a card issuer she is also he is also in the set participants next one is the acquirer acquirer is the financial is a private financial limited for example bajaj limited or anything private organizations is the acquirer is the acquire the payment authorization and facility electronic funds transferred to the directly to the merchants of course any financial uh, organizations can directly funds transfer to the merchant accounts is the acquire next one is the payment gateway the payment gateway is uh, we can interface between the card transaction and then uh, payment transmission to the set is the payment gateway next is the security certificate authorities who provide the organization to the security certificate authority is the that provides the public digital certificates we can issue the public certificates is the certificate authorities i think it's very clearly understood thank you students thanks for watching namma channel la subscribe pannunga video va share pannunga